Gloss Tube is Kirin Stitches. It's Friday the 30th of April and this is my Floss Tube Extra Mania plans. Hello and welcome. Uh, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, welcome if you are a new viewer. Uh, it's lovely to have you here with me. Um, welcome back if you are a regular. Uh, it's great to have you here too. So I thought today I'd just go through a few Mania plans which basically have happened in the last week. Uh, my original plan was Mania for Mania was more of a stitch sania kind of thing because I love my challenge groups and I've got a lot of things I'm focusing on this year and I didn't want to do a whole load of new starts and bump my whip count up to good uh, 9 million. Um, that's not true. It would go up to about, well, who knows? It depends on the starts, wouldn't it? Um, I didn't want to really bump my whip count up. It's, I'm comfortable with my number at the moment, but... I didn't want to make it crazy big. It's it's still at more than I've ever had. Um, I've never, up until sort of the last, this last year, I've never gone above 20 whips. And now I'm at 23, I think, at the moment. And I've forgotten to bring one thing in with me. So, um, never mind. We, don't, we won't worry about it. So, my mania plans uh, is to do... Uh, no, Christmas dreams. I'm going to stitch on Christmas dreams every day. Last year I did uh, Peace on Earth and it really worked for me to just move it along. And I'm loving stitching on it now. I put it into every challenge I can. So I'm going to insert a photograph uh, of where it is as of today. So you can see how much progress I'm, I'm going to get done and the pro photo will be here. So I'm loving this. Um, I was gifted the chart by Heather. Sharon gifted me the fabric. Um, and... It's, it's done in the called for, except for one is, I'm going to say it's a Victorian motto. No, it's not. It's a colour and cotton. The red's cut, a cut, uh, an unnamed colour and cotton. But basically it's like Louisiana hot sauce. Anyway, so uh, it's on 18 count. It's a mystery, uh, mystery aider, so don't know what the actual colour or maker is. But it's close to the called for. Anyway, I'm loving it. It's by Tiny Modernist. It was hers to stitch along last Christmas. I don't do stitch alongs very well. So it's been, um, it's first weird not holding it up. I just sit like this. Uh, so I'm going to stitch on that every day um, in May and hopefully get a finish on it. On to the, so my original plan was to then just do Christmas ornaments at the weekend. I loved my ornament mania last year. Um, but uh, that's not. I still have some kitted up from Jolly July that I didn't even start so but that's an, I decided actually when I put my May Day core out uh, this month well my kind of when I took down all the Easter stuff in the week I realised just how few B pieces I had I thought I had absolutely I thought I had loads and by the time I decorated I realised it wasn't as many as I thought so I thought yeah I'm going to have to kind of over the year we'll bump up the B Day core because I do love my bees and um I realised uh, then Heather joked to me, you'll have to have a bee mania. Well, that kind of just sat with me. So the last two days I've been kitting up and preparing. Uh, I went through my all my bee charts. I have 18 uh, bee charts. Uh, I decided I didn't want to start anything big. So that discounted um, the big uh, antique bee sampler by Elizabeth Designs. The two other uh, blue flower ones, so that would be Sleeping Bee and Tudor Bee. Um, there was another couple of, there was a couple of others, I was like, no, not today, on those. So, and originally I was just going to do 8 to 10, which should have been one every, every weekend, uh, every day of the weekend. So, there we go. There are 10 weekend days in May. Yeah, that it got bumped up to 15 about an hour ago, two hours ago, something like that. So I've made myself a spreadsheet and we're all organised, everything's kitted up. Uh, I ordered six threads, that's all I had to order. Um, so I thought that was pretty good and actually, that's it, only three threads for, for this. Right, so first things first, because it's with four and a half minutes in the end, I'm going to do Buzzy String. Uh, it's a Lizzie Kate, this was gifted to me by April. April, May, June, and I'm just doing it on a scrap of, so I got parchment, it was an offcut from Alice. Um, I pulled, which side is it this side? I pulled some of the called for, um, some are 
substitutes. I've got some, I've got most of the called for, but I don't know I've done my laughing. Um, I just need to put a black and a white through the MC. So I think that's going to look lovely and um, get that started. I do love these little strings. I only stitched one and I've got most of them and I love them. But, you know, getting around to them. So, I'll put those, those there. Next up, and I don't know which ones of these I will do, but Mitch Stitch last year for my birthday, didn't happen, COVID, thank you very much, um, she was going to do this little bee. And I was like, oh, I could do that. So I kitted it all up. I don't know if that's all the colours, but you know, it might be some of them. And didn't get very far, well, I didn't get far at all. So I've got a scrap of sparkly 28 count. Um, I've got a random scrap of eight, so it's to do that one on. It's a long piece, so I should be able to do the. I don't know whether I'm just going to do the top or whether I will do the bottom as well. I haven't decided yet because basically you put it around the tape measure. But you could do it as a teeny tiny drum and i just don't know whether i want to do that or whether i just want to do the bee um it also had this little tiny small that it kind of stitches a little pendable kind of looking ornament um and i've got a scrap of 14 count black ada oh there for that and i will pull a, uh, i might do metallic. i might just do it in i'm gonna just do it in a, in a gold color not a metallic so and then there was also they said to make a needle minder I don't know if a better picture of it but no and there was just a little button badge that said be happy so I might do that one as well and I've got just a scrap of Ada as well here so this is all scraps and we will see what happens I don't even know if that's all I should have checked whether I had all the cord for out and I don't know whether I did no, clearly not, because there's quite a big list. Anyway, we'll if it's DMC, I haven't kitted it yet, and I will just grab it as I go along. And this is in a bag spot plus debris. So there's that one. Um, block party birds. I had I've had this chart ages. Um, I'm just waiting on some black Ada to come in. So. That's it, and it's got the only ones. I'm not going to get this one. I'm, I don't think many of these are going to be starts and finishes, but uh, or a saff. Um, that explains all right. Bright leaf. I bet. Oh, yeah, that, there we go. So I, I was looking for blue topaz. I found it. Doesn't matter. I'll do. No, it's not far. Anyway, so this was basically what most of my, my threads went for. Um, I need it for this. So it's got the wall piece that came with it. Uh, I need to get sunflower and gold leaf uh, to do the bottom. But I do have them in cardinal points. So what I might do is um pull them have a good look at the chart because i do think it is only this bit at the bottom and the little details on the bees so i might pull the colors and just see whether i can match it to something um maybe a week's or something that's just a bit close it's close enough so that's that so that will be started right towards the end because of the fabric coming in next up um is fragments in time industry this is super sweet i was gifted this for birthday or Christmas swap with Heather and I've pulled some of the called for and just some get some of the, yeah some of the called for and just some so that's that set of colours for it so um and this is being done on a 28 mystery 28 count I think it's 28 count it's a mystery either which way Next up, we've got the cross stitch cover kit from 370, issue 370. Um, I'm not sure the other cross stitch, I can't remember what issue it is. I'll, I'll write it down at some point. But as you can see, all the back, well, if you can see, but all the backgrounds are stitched. Not anymore, they're not. So I've got some blue. That's not actually, it it's, looks a bit whitey grey, but it is very blue. 
No, it's not. Anyway, so it's an, um, an opal. Is it picking up the sparkle? No, but it's an opal and I'm going to stitch them on that. Uh, and then I'm going to finish them as three little pieces, not as a, not in the card. Uh, random hand, uh, her, start again, heart in hand month. I was going to collect all of these and then I didn't and I'm not, because I could pick them up so and so at one point for like a couple of quid each. But now I'm not going to try and get them all. But because they don't actually say July, I'm just going to do that one. As a little piece, get that can go in with my thing. Uh, that is on get ace and count parchment and I'm going to stitch that with the autumn sulky pack so I, because I have the some of these sulky packs I thought time to get them out and use them so the autumn one has got most of the, it's got sort of a beige and a gold and a brown and it's got a really nice kind of variegated one there oh, that's a good shot of it and obviously it's got the green and then I've got various other greens in here should I need a different green so I thought get those out and get those used next up we have Doreen, a Doreen Jones pattern which is for the B Pendable I bought this in e eons ago and it's it's all stitched in DMC. So you basically you stitch it on one piece like that. That is just a mock up of it, not the chart, just a mock up. And um, you finish it, finish it up. So yeah, again, I, it'll be DMC. I mean, potentially I've got sulkies that would work with it. So something twenty um, eighteen count parchment again. So that's that one. And we've, next up, we've got Pro Schooler. Is that one? That's going to be DMC. Uh, that's going to be Silkies and 14 Count Black Ada. Uh, Beehive Violets. Oh, I forgot it's got no shot. Beehive Violets by Just Nan. So, uh, yeah. Uh, it's got a full DMC thing, so that's going to be DMC, and I'm going to stitch it on. It's basically it's purples and as it, violets, I would say, purples with uh, bees and specialities. So I'm going to stitch it on this sort of grey again, and then I'm also going to do Beehive by Elizabeth Designs on that same grey, uh, and that's got lots of specialty stitches on. So I'm really looking forward to doing that Beehive because that looks really. My satin stitches are terrible. I might actually have to forget a hoop or something out, and just try and get some tension, and then the leaves are done in a leaf stitch which is basically kind of a satin stitch going in different directions so yeah so I'm looking forward to giving that a go it's got the stitch diagrams and everything in so and that'll be done in sulkies again I think beehive sulkies yeah next up gifted to me by Heather we have Frosted Pumpkins, the Beekeeper, I think. Yeah, the Beekeeper. I've never done a Frosted Pumpkin before. So this is my first Frosted Pumpkin. Um, I'm going to be selling this with Heather because she's doing hers as well. I'm stitching it on Slightly Nutty by Sparklers, which has kind of got a sort of warm pinky beige to it. And I'm going to do it in DMC except for the flowers. I'm doing this really, really pretty begonia. And what we got? Prairie Schooler. So I stitched Weather of Bees a while ago, a couple of years ago. I'm just going to refold this chart. So I'm going to stitch the two smalls from that. They're 49 by 49, so they're not huge. So I'm going to stitch those. Again, um, the Ada, the 18 count Ada. And that counts as two starts. So uh, that brings me up to 14. Everything's being stored in my beautiful, beautiful project bag by Sarah, who is not enough whip bags. I just kept the card this time, Sarah, in the bag. It was easier. So that lot's going to be in there. And then, because that was 13, I thought, well, I mean, I could have counted the other two smalls as 14, 15, but I thought, no, I've got a couple of B whips, so let's get those progressed. 
So the blue flower quilting bee. Stitched on Bacchus by Chromatic Alchemy is inspired by Sharon. And yeah, that's pretty much as much as I've got undone on it. Fabric's a little bit, it's not as bright as this in real life, but it's gorgeous. So it would be nice to get another maybe if I can just get that big motif done there, that'd be cool. That's been stitched in the core for, I'm fairly sure. Yes, it is being stitched in the core for because Sharon had to help me source those as well because of the great gas shortages of 2020. Gas to gentle our threads. And finally is um, Chessie and Me. Let my example shine, which is there. And I adore this and it also has, you can make it into a needle book and it's got, you stitch that bit for the inside as well. I think most of that's over one. But to be honest, I think I'm probably just going to do it as a long piece and frame it. And then maybe just stitch the fob separately. I do love it. We will see. And I am stitching this on, you know, anything you've done more than you have. And I've got to finish it this year as well. Uh, so this is on 35 count oatmeal by Sparkly. So it's just a... Well, you know what oatmeal is. Yeah, and that's my start on it from last year. I stitched it and I put 2021 in it. So, as you can see where the date is on that, best I get busy. Best I get busy. But I just love, the, absolutely love the colour palette of this. So, uh, and that's been stitched in the Core 4 colours. Back by Diana. It is Kismet. Yeah, I oh know, Christmas in a Christmas bag, but never mind, eh? So that's my plan for Mania. So I, I tell me down below what your plans are. It's funny when you just kind of roll with it. I, I'm a bit of Heather, but uh, anyway, all the project. I'll put all of um, the details in the drop down box below. Uh, probably just the titles of the charts and the designer, um, and, and I can talk about. Uh, everything else when I'm done. So have a great stitchy fortnight. Um, I hope you all, if you're having a bank holiday this weekend, we have a bank holiday in England uh, uh, this Monday. I'm not even sure if Scotland and Wales do as well, but um, if you, that's just how kind of England centric I am, that's awful. But yeah, have a great weekend. Um, I should be watching the Formula One, tie-dyeing with my daughter for her birthday party. Um, taking my mum for a Covid shot. Uh, it's going to be a crazy busy weekend. Hopefully I'll get some stitching in. So until, uh, until I see you for my regular video next week, take care friends, have a great stitchy uh, week and happy stitching. Bye bye. <laughs>